Good morning, dear students. So already last class we have discussed in the partnership firm. What is the meaning of partnership? And what are the various features of partnership? What is partnership deal? And what are the various aspects are including in the partnership deal? And what is fixed capital system? And what is fluctuating capital system? As well as we have discussed the performa of fixed and fluctuating capital system under the current account as well as capital account format. So already we have discussed. So here, first of all, what is the minimum number of members for the construction of a partnership? So here, this is what very really important question as per the examination point of view. Already we have discussed in the previous sessions. So here, the minimum number of members, the minimum number of members for the construction of a partnership for the required minimum required members are two. So is there any only one person means? So here, <coughs> only one person means that is related to sole proprietorship. So here, so for that, these are only two members in the business organization means that is called as partnership firm. So in this partnership firm, minimum two. So on the same day, as per the examination point of view, what is the maximum number of members in the partnership? This is got very important question for the one more question. The minimum number of members to maximum 20. Already these things we have discussed in the previous sessions. Minimum number of members to and maximum number of members are 20. On the same day, in case of any banking sector, in case of any banking means 10 members. This is why 20 means is there any business organization like any manufacturing company or any MNC corporations, the maximum 20. In case of any banking sector, the number of members limit it is at 10 members. So here minimum 2 in case of banking sector 10 in case of any other business activities means 20. This is what maximum number of members in the partnership. So already these things we have discussed in the previous sessions. So here let me in the previous class what we have discussed means. So here we have discussed what is the meaning of fixed capital system. Under the partnership firm, what are the necessary accounts we need to prepare means? The necessary accounts means here, current account, capital account, profit and loss, appropriation account. These things we need to prepare. The accounts we are preparing on the basis of two methods. The partnership accounts we can maintain under two methods. The first one fixed capital system. Fixed capital system, it is also called as fixed capital method. First of all, let me know the meaning of fixed capital system. Fixed capital system is a system. Under the fixed capital system, the amount of capital does not change from one year to another year. Under the fixed capital system, the amount of capital, whatever the amount invested by each partner into the business organization, the amount, it cannot change from one year to another year. It is fixed from one period to another period or one assessment year to another assessment year. Except when the partners are withdrawals from the business organization. Remaining the amount of capital, it is constant from year to year. This is what fixed capital system. The second thing, the capital accounts are maintained under the second method, fluctuating capital system.
the second method it is actuating capital system so here for that maintenance of necessary accounts in the partnership business we can maintain on the basis of two methods two systems the first one fixed capital system and second one fluctuating capital system so here the fluctuating so here that main point is suggesting fluctuating is nothing but changing fluctuating is nothing but changing under the fluctuating capital system the amount of capital the amount of capital means whatever the capital invested by the partner in this business organization whatever the capital invested by the partner that capital it is fluctuating from one assessment year to another assessment year or one year to another year or one period to another period let me know the meaning once again fluctuating capital system under the fluctuating capital system the amount of capital does it will change from one year to another year so this is what fluctuating capital system so already these things we have discussed in the previous session only already we have started what are the various accounts are maintained under the fixed capital system on the same way what are the various accounts we need to prepare under the fluctuating capital system so these proforma these proforma already we have discussed in the previous class now we can discuss what is the differentiation what is the difference between fixed capital system and fluctuating capital system now we will discuss the differences between fixed and fluctuating capital system the difference between fixed and fluctuating capital system so here the first difference under the fixed and fluctuating capital system so on the basis the first point is number of accounts so number of accounts in the fixed capital system what are the necessary accounts we need to prepare on the same day what are the various accounts we need to prepare under the fluctuating capital system so here come to the first point the first point it is related to number of accounts so here under the fixed capital system
so here yeah, the first difference the first difference it is related to number of accounts under the fixed capital system under the fixed capital system the amount of capital does not change from one year to another year under the fixed capital system the amount of capital does not change from one year to another year so under this method we can prepare two necessary accounts under this method we can prepare two necessary accounts namely that is an partners capital account and partners current account system the amount of capital does not change from one year to another year under this method we can prepare two necessary accounts that is a partners capital account and partners current account so here come to the fluctuating capital system side so under the fluctuating capital system so here under the fluctuating capital system the amount under the fluctuating capital system the amount it will change from it will change change means nothing but fluctuating so here the amount it will change from one year to another year so under this method we can prepare only one account under the fluctuating capital system say we can prepare only one account that is a partners capital account so here yeah, this is why first difference between fixed and fluctuating capital system so here yeah, once again under the fixed capital system the amount of capital it is fixed from one year to another year under this method we can prepare two necessary accounts namely partners capital account and partners current account and the same being in the opposite side under the fluctuating capital system the amount of capital it will change from one year to another year the amount of capital it will change from one year to another year so under the fluctuating capital system we can prepare only one account that is an partners capital account this is why first difference between fixed and fluctuating capital system the second point the second adjustment it is related to the second difference it is related to number of adjustments the number of adjustments so the adjustments means what are the various transactions we need to record under the fixed and fluctuating capital system so come back here the first one under the fixed capital system
second difference series related to number of adjustments in a different capital system. So here, under the fixed capital system, all the adjustments, under the fixed capital system, all the adjustments like interest on capital, interest on capital, salary, commission, drawings, etc. etc. means interest on drawings, profits or losses are the transactions we can record under the fixed capital system. So here the adjustments are related to all the adjustments we can record such adjustments like interest on capital, salary, commission, drawings. So here these are the various adjustments we need to record under the fixed capital system. And the same being under the fluctuating capital system. So we are recording few of the adjustments like Debit balance also. 
So in here, the third place, it always the nature of balances means, so here under the picture capital sister, always it shows a credit balance, but under the fluctuating capital system, sometimes it may be shows a debit balance also. This is why differences between fixed and fluctuating capital system. So here once again the differences. The first difference it is related to number of accounts. Under the fixed capital system, the amount of capital it does not change from one year to another year. Under this method, the necessary accounts we can prepare, two necessary accounts we can prepare, namely partners capital account and partners current account. And the same way in the opposite side, under the fluctuating capital system, the amount of capital it will change from one year to another year. Under the fluctuating capital system, the amount it will change from one year to another year. And the same being the second difference. The second difference it is an adjustment. So here, under the fixed capital system, all adjustments, all the adjustments such as like interest on capital, salary, commission, drawings, interest on drawings, all such transactions we can record under the fixed capital system. And the same thing in the opposite side, under the fluctuating capital system, so here all the adjustments like drawings, interest on drawings, salary, commission, interest on capital, all the adjustments we can record under the fluctuating capital system. This is what second difference. The third difference, it is related to nature of balance. The nature of balance, under the fixed capital system, already we have discussed the amount it will fluctuate, I mean it will change from year to year. So here, the amount it, it does it may, I mean <coughs> that amount it cannot change from year to year. It is constant from year to year. That's where the always it shows a credit balance in the books of accounts. In the opposite side, under the fluctuating capital system, sometimes maybe, sometimes not often, sometimes only it shows a debit balance also because of the amount it is fluctuating from period to period that's why that's why the amount may be the balances may be it is fluctuating sometimes maybe it shows credit balance or sometimes maybe it shows a debit balance also so this is why differences between fixed capital system and fluctuating capital system so here so under the fixed capital system, we are preparing two necessary accounts, namely partners capital account and partners current account. Under the fluctuating capital system, we are preparing only one account that is an partners capital account. So here, let me know we can discuss that the partners current account as well as capital account in the fixed and fluctuating capital system.
So yeah, the next concept. Under this chapter, we will get one question for the practical oriented five mark question. So here, yeah, practical oriented question. This is what section E. Under the section E, so in this chapter we will discuss four questions. So under four questions, the first one, the question may be asked. Prepare two partners current account. Prepare two partners current accounts under the fixed capital system. So here, under the practical oriented question, we need to record imaginary values. The imaginary values, we need to assume some values. So here, this is what related to 5 mark question. So let me know we will discuss in this question. So here, the first one, data as well as creditor. So here, data means all the expenses we can record in the debit side. In the credit side, whatever the transactions are related to income to the partners, such kind of transactions we can record in the credit side. So here, the first column is related to date. Second column for the particulars. Third column, LF, ledger for you. Next two columns of power amounts because of we are preparing two partners. So here two partners then we have to take image like a, a partner and B partner. And you need to record the symbol, round B symbol we need to record. Again, date, particulars. L, A and B partners. A and B, this is what name of the partners. Just we are assuming the partners names. So here, this is what columns for the preparation of partners current account when the capitals are fixed. First of all, when the capitals are fixed means on the time we are preparing two necessary accounts. Already we are discussed in that format only. So here, under the fixed capital system, we are preparing two necessary accounts. That is the first one, partners capital account. So here, on the partners capital account, when the capitals are fixed, means on the time, we can record only capital balances. The capital balances are including opening balances as well as additional capital brought by the partner. Such kind of transactions only we can record on the partner's capital account when the capitals are fixed. On the same way, under the fixed capital system, now we are preparing current account. In this current account, now we need to prepare imaginary values. In the imaginary value means any five values we need to record, five transactions only. We need to record. The, in this situation, we can record simple transactions. The simple transactions, like a first one, balance brought down. Balance brought down. So here, the balance brought down means this is what related to current account balance. In that, we are preparing partner's current account. He is already partner's current account balance means that capital only we need to record in the credit side. The values just have to assume. My be example, 10,000. 10,000. This is what partner's current account opening balances. This is what one of the imaginary figure in the partner's current account. The next transaction may be salary. Salary account. Suppose salary, we are allotting only two units. On the ten, we can record only on that particular person among columns. Suppose the salary, annual salary may be 5,000. Annual salary to 
ये रुपीस फाइव थाउजेंड मीन्स आन दैट डे वी कैन रिकॉर्ड आन दैट पार्टिकुलर पर्सन अमाउंट कॉलम ओनली बट इन द टी कॉलम जस्ट हैव टू गिव इट स्पेस मे बी हियर द नेक्स्ट ट्रांजैक्शन इट इज रिलेटेड टू कमीशन कमीशन अकाउंट सपोज हियर द पार्टनर ये they are not getting any commission but only b partner getting annual commission suppose annual commission rupees 5000 to b means on that day directly we can record in that partner b amount column only so here these are the three necessary transactions in the credit side on the same day next few transactions make the profit and loss appropriation account Profit and loss appropriation account. So here yeah, profit and loss appropriation before the preparation of these partners capital as well as current account, we are preparing appropriation account. By the way, preparing that appropriation account, we are ascertaining true profit or loss during the year. So here yeah, by the way, preparing on that appropriation account. Whatever the profits or losses we are appropriated, appropriated means nothing but distributed among the partners according to their agreed ratio. So, is there any profit means on that day we can record in the credit side. Suppose the profit and loss appropriation account balance may be five thousand rupees by each partner. So here the balances are equal. On the same day, the distribution of profit and losses is also equal. Means their profits and losses sharing ratio according to partnership deal may be their agreeing on the basis of one is to one ratio. On the basis of equal proportions only, they are allot they are distributing the profits in the business organization. So here, these are the few transactions in the credit side. First one, balance brought down. This is what opening balance. Second one, salary account. Salary to A. Next one, salary to B. Next one, profit and loss appropriation balances. So on the same thing here, in the date column, in the date column we are not recording any dates. Suppose is there any particular dates are available means. And that day we can record in that column, in that date column. So here yeah, in this account we are we are recorded four different values. But as per this question, must and should we need to record five imaginary values. The next imaginary value we can record in the debit side. The debit side. The next transaction drawings are from. The next one. Drawings. First of all, here drawings is already we have discussed in the previous session. Drawings means the amount withdrawn by the owner from his business. The amount withdrawn by the owner from his business for his domestic use, or personal use, or private use. So here, this is what the expenses to the. Partners, so that's why we can record in the debit side. Suppose the drawings example, maybe the partner is there with the drawing rupees five thousand. On the same being, B partner with the drawing rupees five thousand. So here, yeah, this is what drawings on partners. The amount of drawings withdrawn by each partner is five thousand, five thousand. So as per the question, we have recorded five values. So now we need to balance. So as per the recorded values, just we are observing which side is more. So here compared to debit side, the credit balance is more. First, you have to make it total in the credit side. So here yeah, the partner A, the total balance of partner A twenty thousand. Under same being the B partner total balances twenty thousand. 
so this is why more capital is compared to debit balance this credit balance is more so these balances we can transfer it in the debit say 20000 20000 in this 40000 we need to deduct in the debit side balances so here yeah, 20,000 minus 5,000 is the remaining balance 15,000. And the same being partner B, 20,000 minus 5,000 means you will get 15,000. After the deducting, these drawings, the remaining closing balances are 15,000 by each pair of partners. These balances we can treat it as closing balance for the year. These balances we can treat it by the way of balance carry down. This year closing balance will be opening balance for the next assessment year. So here the balance we can record in the credit side balance brought down. A balance rather. So here, whatever the closing balance, whatever the closing debit balance in the debit side, that balance we can record in the credit side. 50,000 by each portions. This is why opening balance for the next year. The last year closing balance will be opening balance for the next year. So here these are the various transactions we can record at the time of preparation of two partners current account with the capital is a fixed capital system. This is what very important portion for that five marks in the practical oriented portion. So here so this is why five transactions in the debit side, one transaction in the credit side, four transactions. Totally five transactions we are recorded in this account. This is why preparation of partners current account in the capex capital system. And the same being in this chapter, the next question may be asked on the basis of to prepare two partners capital account when the capitals are fluctuating. Prepare two partners capital account when the capitals are fluctuating means on the day we need to prepare partners capital account. So here, the next question is prepare two partners capital account under the fluctuating capital system. This is what next question under the practical oriented question. So when we are preparing partners capital account, what are the necessary transactions we need to record? So this is what already we are discussed in the previous session. So, at the time of preparation of partners capital account when the capitals are fluctuating means the first one the format was same thing there is no much difference compared to partners capital account as well as partners current account so here just you have to small make we need to change some values only like okay? so in that preparation of two partners capital account the account was same thing date partners left a partner and B partner. Again, debit partner set up partner A and partner B data as well as credit. So here on the debit side we can record all the expenses and the saving in the credit side we can record incomes only. So here in the access of partners current current I mean capital account, just we are recording their opening balances. 
so in that part as current account we are recording current account balances but here we can record their capital balances so whatever the capital invested by each partner to the business that capital only we can record in this account the first one balance brought up this is what first transaction in the partner's capital account when the capitals are fixed and the same thing salary this is what constant transaction there is no much difference and the same way commission also same there is no difference profit and loss appropriation account balance this is what there is no much difference in the both accounts so in the debit side drawings so this is what drawings we can record in the partners capital account also so this is what few of the examples for the preparation of two partners capital account under the fluctuating capital system so here the balancing this is what same manner as per the previous current account so here in the partners current account means we can record their current account balances but here capital account means no need to record their current account balance here we are recording only their capital balances only this is what difference in the both capital account as well as current account in that partnership account so here this is what five mark question for the your practical oriented session so in this session we are discussing partners capital under the partnership account so what are the accounts that we need to record means we need to record partners capital account as well as partners current account in the capital system there are two questions this is what very important as per the practical oriented questions thank you students so one more notice from next class onward so all the student must and should have to bring your as per the pu board question bank the question bank it is available in the pu board only pu board website k a k r n a c dot a in that website you have to download and make sure that one okay thank you